On the eve of uh, MBAA 2010, well, Cessna's making big news again in a very good way. Talk about the Citation 10. Well, Jim, it's, it is good news, and we needed some positive news around our company. The, the, the new, we're referring to it as the Citation 10 TEN. We moved away from the Roman numeral 10, and we've made a lot of technology advancements that we're putting in this airplane. The Garmin G5000 cockpit, which is a Part 25 fully integrated suite of avionics, it's got amazing features, synthetic vision, which is already available. The controllers for the displays are touchscreen. It's got auto throttles. It has all of the requirements for future navigation as NextGen is implemented in the European SARS is implemented. So that, and it's a very clean and modern cockpit. So that was the biggest change along with we extended the cabin because one of the things we kept hearing for our customers is on longer flights, there needed to be more room for berthing, more room for luggage inside of the cabin. And we think we've hit the mark on all those features. As I understand it now, the CJ4 is off to a good launch and starting to make some waves. The 4 is off to a good start. We were able, even through this downturn, to hold a pretty, pretty healthy backlog on that airplane. We've now got it out and delivered. We've got 9 in service. We'll deliver up to 15 this year and continue to ramp up next year. It has hit its numbers, and that's been what's very impressive to our customers is the 2,000 nautical miles range, 1,000 pounds of payload, and 450 as a cruise speed. And, and I've flown it now about... 10 hours and it's one that makes me smile Jim it's it's got sovereign like performance where lightly loaded you're climbing at 5,000 feet a minute out of any airfield in the United States and so I think we got another real winner on our hand it's been a tough time for the aviation industry and, and frankly uh, you take a look at what's happened to it and we know that's an external issue but how is the morale at Cessna and uh, how rare are you guys to finally get out get past all this Frankly, it's been tough. I mean, it's, you know, every day you've got to get up and, and turn the new page and say what happened yesterday is not indicative of what we think is going to happen in the future. So we've got a lot of work to do on, on regaining our, our winning attitude. Things like the 10 are important to our employees. You know, making a commitment that we are developing new airplanes, that we do have a, a future is important. And as we slug through the, the slow sales activity now, today's a big day. We, uh, Concurrent with this announcement, we made an internal video and press release for our employees that uh, we got out so they could see it first and, and say, you know, finally the news from the, the corner office today is good news. It's not uh, some of the negative news that we've had in the past, and hopefully we'll be able to capitalize and move on that momentum. One of the things that was remarkable to me is you mentioned that there's a significant amount of uh, uh, capital going into R&D even with everything that's going on with the economy. In other words, you know, everybody tends to draw back, but you're smart enough to look forward because this can't go on forever. It, it can't. We're very fortunate. The Textron board has been committed to a product plan that we laid down two years ago and said these are the things that we need to do. These are the investments that we need to make. A matter of fact, they encourage us, you just got to go faster because we know one thing that has really helped this industry is new product development does stimulate sales. So uh, we're, we're going to spend the money and we're going to bring out the products that our customers want. And two quick questions. One, obviously, there are rumors about a uh, turboprop uh, version of the uh, of the Mustang. What are you willing to say at this stage of the game? Well, that's a you know, I, I, you and I have talked many times about you know where is Cessna's strategy on on new products, and and I think you and I have always agreed there's a niche in there that's really uh, Cessna's that's not playing in. Cessna. Yeah, that Cessna's not playing in, and. Uh, so we're, we're exploring that. We're looking at can we get the right product at the right price point uh, wedged into that, that gap that, that's really from the Corvallis TT up to the Mustang. And we've got some things that were uh, proof of concept airplanes that we're working on right now. And we'd like to accelerate that and, and get an announcement out here out. But uh, got a little few configuration issues we've got to work through. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.